What's up Star Wars fans, Jonesy here with another entry into the Hyperspace Database. Today's topic, the heavy assault starfighter mobile attack platform, the Virago. The Virago was the personal craft of Prince Shizor, who was the leader of the criminal syndicate known as Black Sun. The Virago was 21 meters high when the wings were extended, and 9 meters long from front to back. The Virago possessed quad-X engines which allowed the craft to reach speeds of 880 kilometers per hour in atmosphere, though each flexible wing was equipped with micro-thrusters which gave the craft added maneuverability in flight. The ship was equipped with two swiveling heavy laser cannons and two forward proton torpedo launchers that housed three torpedoes each. The Virago possessed a Class 1 hyperdrive with a Class 10 backup, and was also equipped with one forward and three rear deflector shield generators. The ship possessed an enhanced laser targeting system that allowed any further weapon enhancements to interface with the system for seamless upgrades. With all of these enhancements, the craft required a tremendous amount of power, and the ship boasts four heavy power generators that are stored in each heavily armored wing. The Virago was an experimental Star Viper class attack platform developed by Mandel Motors according to Prince Shizor's rigorous specifications. When the craft was completed, Shizor bought the rights to the ship design to ensure that it would be the only one of its kind. The Virago possessed superior speed, armor, and weapons for a ship of its size, and with its flexible moving wings appeared to be alive as its wings made constant adjustments in flight. The Virago first appeared in the novel Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry, and then later in the comic book adaption and video game of the same name. These events take place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and it is also where we are introduced to Han Solo rival and fellow smuggler Dash Rendar, who flies the Outrider with his co-pilot Lebo. At the end of the events depicted in Shadows of the Empire, the Virago is assumed destroyed along with Prince Shizor when his skyhook, Falling's Fist, explodes. Mandel Motors regained the rights to the Star Viper design after Shizor's death and proceeded to build inferior variants of the craft, though none would rival the success of the Virago. Well guys, that's it for this episode. Did you like what you see? Be sure to let us know in the comments if you did and what ship you'd like to see next. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and check out our other videos as well. Thank you guys so much for your support and we'll see you next time.